VCW, what it does is it brings on board the different stakeholders that interact with the organization. When I say the different stakeholders, it might be internal or external stakeholders. So we are speaking about, for example, the suppliers, the distributors, the government, environmental associations, and so on. So if we use these stakeholders to generate solutions, how to overcome a particular challenge, they, in the initial stage, they don't need to be necessarily good or bad. They are just solutions. The same about the filters. If a manager has to take a decision, if he thinks by his own end, typically he's going to put two, three, four, five filters. If we bring on board all the stakeholders to explain to the manager what might be an interesting filter, it is obvious that the final decision will be much more powerful because the manager had the opportunity to consider many more different angles. So what the VCW does is in the initial stage diverges in terms of the number of solutions and ideas to overcome a particular problem and there, there are no good or bad ideas or solutions. Everything is acceptable on the initial on phase two. The same applies to the filters, which is we try to understand from many different angles what are the pros and cons of picking a particular solution. And again, there is no good or bad filter. That's why we say it's very important to listen to the devil's advocate. It's very important to listen to the laggers, to the late adopters, to the non-adopters of, of a particular product and so on. The moment we have a significant amount of solutions and filters, then we can feed the key decision makers with this um, amount of data. In the presence of this amount of data, then the key decision makers might say, okay, out of these, let's say, 100 solutions, there are 20 solutions that are worthwhile to export. Out of these significant amount of filters, we have here, let's say, 10 filters that are interesting or that we should definitely consider. And then the key decision makers establish a ranking. Let's say fil the filter most important, for example, is to be needs to be aligned with legislation. Filter number two, for example, is we need to uh, implement this within the next three months. Filter number three, for example, it needs to be aligned with our team, with the capabilities of our team. Filter number four needs to be approved by the board of the multinational, and so on. So once we have all these filters, we can make a funnel. We start with, let's say, 20 solutions. Filter number one, align with, with the legislation. Now we only have 10. Filter number two, then we go down, 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 until we arrive to the final solution. Once we have the final solution or final solutions, we move to the prototype stage. So we are already on phase 4B. And where we're going to design, how we're going to implement this solution. Then we move to the implementation stage, where the, the key decision makers, again, play a critical role, namely in terms of the definition of the business model and of the three M's, which is manpower, minute and money. On stage five, it's also very important to look to the different KPIs, key performance indicators, so it's important to evaluate them, because at the beginning of the project, on phase one, we establish the, what are the necessarily KPIs to achieve within a project and of course at the end of the project we need to, to see to what extent they were or not achieved. Managers typically when taking a decision they face the paradox of choice which means or they have too many options for example if they are trying to enter a new international market they have close to 200 countries across the globe and many small cities across the globe or villages. And when facing this uh, huge amount of options, they simply frozen because they don't know where to start. Or they have precisely the opposite, which is they have just one or two options to, in, uh, to solve their, their own problem. VCW, first of all, is a meta framework, so we are not superior or inferior to other tools. We have the capability to incorporate existing tools, existing frameworks, theories, and so on, in order to solve 
different challenges across uh, society, across organizations, and uh, also at the individual level. Something that is very unique of the VCW is that we separate the solutions from the filters. So in order to solve a particular problem, we generate hundreds of solutions, we generate hundreds of filters, and we don't mix them. Typically what happens with many, uh, with many tools is that they put everything into the same bag. In our case, no. Although we might gather the data sometimes at the same time, typically we have these, we are concerned in separating the solutions from the filters. And then we bring both solutions and filters to the key decision makers so they can take an informed decision. So they have much more data in terms of overcoming a particular challenge and in terms of analyzing which ones are the pros and the cons. Another difference with other tools is that many tools, they are user-led or consumer-led. Of course, we also care about the consumers. The consumer is a critical stakeholder, but we consider all the stakeholders that interact with a particular organization. For example, the employees, the shareholders, environmental groups, the government, and so on.